Hello everyone, this is Shabidi's Kettlecorn here. Please like and subscribe on Facebook. Um, for this video here, I'm going to talk to you about a, the 80 quart bowls versus the 160 quart bowls. Um, when I first started my business four years ago, um, this will be my fifth year um, going in the season already, and I've already started uh, within February. Um, I wasn't quite sure yet which direction I wanted to go and how I wanted to go about selling with my business. I I knew that farmers markets is what I wanted to do, so. With that going forward, I did some research on the 80 quart bowls, and um, the one good thing about the 80 quart bowls, as you can probably tell by looking on Facebook and all over the internet, um, and on Craigslist and on eBay, is that the 80 quart bowls are pretty cheap. Uh, you can get them for as low as $800, um, you know, depending on where you are, or you know, they can go anywhere between 1402, depending on how old they are or how new they are. And in fact, a lot of people are actually building their own machines using the 80 quart Hobart bowl, and um, I actually decided to buy brand new rather than used. Um, I didn't want something that I didn't know uh, if it would work or not right away, and I didn't want to drive a far distance and have to come back and pick it up. Um, I had limited resources. Um, I started off my business with um, $5,000 cash, and at the time, I decided to go with uh, kettlecornmachine.com and uh, use the Greg Sweet Machine, the A1 Sweet Machine, and uh, they're very helpful and professional, and I bought their machine for $2,300. And that included shipping. Um, I believe that with the price increases, they're about $2,500 an hour or so online. And um, I ended up using them for the first couple of years. And then I decided that I was going to sell that machine and go with the 164 ball. So um, I'll go with you pr pretty much here that the top five or so reasons as to why I decided to, after I started doing my business, why I left with that machine and not decided to go with another machine. But I decided to do it within the same company. It was nothing to do with the company per se. It was mostly how the machine is as physically made and built. And I'll go over you here the, the reasons why here within this video. And again, if you find this video useful, please like and subscribe on Facebook. And um, if you have any further questions, feel free to give me a shout out or uh, message me on Facebook. I always you know help people give them advice um, to the best of my ability. I, I don't claim to know everything, but you know I do know a lot. So that's why I'm doing these videos. Thanks. After doing all this research on uh, which machine to buy, um, I decided on the Greg Sweet machine, the 80 quart bowl, and um, after about two months or so, I had it shipped, and I believe I paid $2,300, which included shipping, for a brand new machine. Um, there are a lot of people who are mechanically more inclined than I am to probably be able to, you know, buy a used machine just fine. They, they, the one thing that would that are pretty useful with these machines is that they're a beast. Um, they last a long time. You can get a lot of miles up them before you have to replace something. And um, the parts are easily replaceable yourself if you know how to do it. Again, I um, do not. So I've, I've had them... Actually, that's not true. I've replaced a few parts myself um, <laughs> uh, the hard way when when, it, when I was at an event and the, 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 the part died and I had to replace it and then still do the event. So um, I've learned things like that as I go along. Um, but uh, the, the thing that I, I liked about the 80 quart bowl is that the machine was very light and easy to move and to, you know, kick around. And I was really happy with the fact that um, it did a pretty good job with keeping the heat in. Um, the one thing that I wish that the, the machine could use or, or would have stayed away from is, of course, that my main complaint is the 80 quart bowl itself, the Hobart bowl. Um, in fact, um, I think for starting out, if you're gonna like let's say do three to five hundred dollars a day or anywhere between that range or maybe even five to a thousand depending on you know how hot it is or throughout the day you should be fine but um i don't know or i do not believe from my own opinion that i don't think that the 80 quart bowls can handle two thousand dollars or more a day um and that was one of the things that when I started getting into some of these events that were a little bit bigger and um, dealing with the with the production and, and trying to get everything, you know, streamlined. Um, and then, of course, not having a sifter starting out. What I would have known, I would have had a sifter versus those buckets. Um, you had to bend down and then put them up somewhere and then bend down. And then the bottom of the thing uh, of the bins touched the dirt. So where are you going to put the... Um, the bins without touching you know stuff that you want to have food touching so there's just a lot of things that i didn't really like about that and then the, the bins after a while if you're using them every day the bins got dirty very fast um and overall um 
I had a good experience with it. Um, I ended up, you know, figuring out how to clean it. You know, I used um, a oven cleaner to clean it off my first, you know, deep cleaning and was able to power wash it. And then um, I just, I just wanted to, to do more after that first year. I had a taste of it and then I was like, okay, well, I'm ready to do more than those three to $500 days. And so once I figured that out, I sold my machine uh, to a guy from North Carolina and he drove all the way up. I sold it for $1,400. Um, you, cause of course it was used and I was, uh, getting a whole bunch of offers and I didn't want to sell it locally. Of course, I didn't want to have a competitor to buy it from me. I prefer someone who was like farther away in North Carolina, the six hour drive. So I felt that was pretty, you know, good, a good way to go. And unfortunately he didn't do the business anymore either. So for somebody who are just trying to test out, I think it's a great idea. And I, and I have no regrets not buying it, but if I would have known going beforehand and had the income, I would have bought in the bigger bowl just right out because um, the 160 quart bowl machines um, are just way more stable to do the larger events, to, uh, the events that do 2,000 to 4,000 a day. Um, and the popcorn quality, in my opinion, is much better. On a really hot day, man, that machine, the 80 quart bowl, I have a feeling that it's like, man, is this thing going to catch on fire? But it never did. Um, and it, it, I just wasn't. Um, uh, the other issue that I had with the, the 80 quart bowls when when popping back to back to back to back, that was one issue I had too with the, with the 160 quart bowl. I've had never had any issue with it popping back to back to back to back. With the 60 the 80 quart bowl machine, the the smell in the air had this really weird metal metallic smell to it, and so that was the the final nail in the coffin for me for one when, when I decided to say, okay, I need I should go probably go back to the 160 quart bowl because the metallic smell was like was really irritating and it's like ew that's, that doesn't like smell good so i don't know what that has to do with it i want to say that it has to do with the bowl itself but and of course that has to do with you cooking back to back and forth each batch back back to back um again uh, that was my experience and if you've had similar experiences please let me know but a lot of people have built their own machines homemade and they've had success for you know they sell outside of their house sell in the neighbors and stuff sell out a market one or two days a week and if that's you um uh, I would say, you know, go for it. Um, but, but after a while, you know, me wanting to do this business more professionally, um, I decided to not, um, uh, deal with the 80 quart anymore. And now when I buy my next setup, if I have a helper who's going to help me and I decide to have him go out on his own, if I decide to do that, um, within the next couple of years or so, I'm going to have them use another 160 quart bowl themselves. So, um, it's just all around easier and it's um, worth the extra money if you have it. And then if you have the three or four extra thousand dollars to spend on it, um, there are a lot of other options out there that besides the the, 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 the um, Greg Sweet machines. But I ended up buying the Master Series and I've had it now for two or three years. I'm very happy with it. I have no issues at all. And uh, they're a very nice family to deal with. So again, um, I would say uh, with, the, with this, with, again, with this bowl, um, if you're in dire straits and you just want to get started, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. So, um, any more further questions, feel free to, to get, to let me know. And, um, to see if you've had some more experiences with these machines. And you also see these horrible ones that look like they're just made from China and from, uh, eBay and stuff like that. If you could kind of tell just by the way they look on eBay or on the internet, Alibaba is another website that's very popular. It's an eBay similar website. Um, that sells strictly from China. I would personally not buy my buy my machine from China. The nice thing that I've had with my relationship with Greg Sweet and his family, Greg Sweet actually, I believe, passed away um, a few years ago, and um, they've been really professional. They've answered every one of my questions, no matter how dumb I felt they are, and they've never made me feel stupid, and they've helped me order my parts no problem at all, and have always said, hey, you know, expect a few weeks for this machine or this part to come. And they've been very professional. So um, that's why I've always dealt, you know, dealt with them business-wise. Um, and that's really important to me. And um, and little things like that mean a lot to you uh, running a business and owning a business. And um, again, uh, I'm going to go into other machines as well. Um, there's a, like probably four or five different companies out there that make machines. But I narrowed it down due to those videos, um, and if you watch them, there's hundreds of them out there that that Greg Sweet have done, and 
he's the reason why I started this business. And um, I'm sure other people could probably say that, you know, other, other, that I'm not alone in this. So um, have a good day, guys. Um, I have an event this weekend. I have a, um, um, a another drag queen show event. I was at a drag queen show event last weekend. Um, and uh, I'm a little blushing because I'm not really, into, you know, I'm not a drag queen myself. But, you know, it's a, it's, it was a fun time. So I have another event this weekend and I have some events coming up. Um, hope everybody has a good season and a good year.